um, we started Skipjack uh, 2015 um, uh, doing the research and um, we run uh, at paid up um, 100 million dollar we kept the lines the, uh, the paid up um, so the name of Skipjack when you started search last year you will see all the tuna you know the fish but I think now you can Google you see my, my face already inside and next week um, Pops Pops Global will will make our story in the in the Pops you know okay uh, so what we are doing about Skipjack we are the company developing a new technology on internet so what we call internet 2.0 so internet 2.0 if you ask me um, how it looks like I couldn't tell you but I know the engine that we are building now so um, we call it Zetanet because we are uh, knowing the, the current internet that American uh, developed since 1960s from Ar Arpanet, Darpanet having a, a problems of data overloading one day it will be crash it's like a climate change problem a global warming problem um, but we know why they they having this kind of problem so they try to solve the, the matter by um, building the the next generation internet ngi project but i think they they, are, they, 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 they still take time I, I i what we feel maybe they couldn't see the formula yet uh, how to to scaling up and solve all this data overloading and uh, together well, while we're developing the, the new internet uh, we are also developing the payment system to replace all the banking <coughs> payment system so basically we are talking about internet uh, sorry industrial 4.0 from steam engine 1.0 electricity 2.0 then we talk about automation and computer 3.0 now people talk about 4.0 the beginning of 4.0 but um, I, I think most people do not know the history and how we become 4.0 and now 4.0 is about a data so everybody have more phones, 4 phone, 5 phone but actually we are wasted a lot of, of data uh, I think last week we talked uh, with Dell, Dell presented we need to have uh, a right data so we have a different concept in, in the internet 2.0 it's actually a new invention that we are putting in ok I think uh, I, I will be make it fast so uh, everybody knows um, for me looking history the number of times uh, means the number of times during uh, Abraham or Ibrahim uh, is uh, using cryptography technology until uh, Egypt um, to send a message, you know, uh, because cryptography means comparison. This is what we are using now in our password hashing. So hashing is is uh, is the cryptography, the one that we key in the password. So uh, the other then Julius Caesar said he needs something secure. Then they started to build the encryption because he he's the he worried the general will will leak the information or being kidnapped. So cryptography is not secure. He said he built the the secret uh, key uh, or word what we call encryption. So this is the history of encryption. Then it grow and then become a mathematics because we know the, the longer of the characters the more difficult for you to crack the information so last time uh, during Judas Caesar they have a 26 alphabet uh, uh, to, to do the, this uh, encryption and then the Nazis developed the Enigma it's very good encryption that the British and the Americans try to learn at the time and even they are very good in building the V2 rocket become one of our base of uh, rocket engine uh, nowadays and um, the encryption the key exchange algorithm is expand uh, to make it as uh, Diffie, Hellman and Merkel so they, they, this is the, the guy who started off everything you know? so this is making our communication moving all around the globe we get the plane to transmit a data 500 gigabyte every day so so that we thanks to this guy I can say he's the modern encryption father and uh, this is what we get the current internet internet 1.0 this is like your road in, in Jakarta Manila Bangkok so you can see if you pump the water the, the water will be slowing down and it will be congested so this is our internet now 
same like our roots. So uh, this is what I said from Arpanet because the military developed. Why they developed? Because of the World War Two. They were their, their communication. They developed for military to communicate from Arpanet project, the Arpanet project, and finally it become commercial available uh, late nine late eighties and and. And we become, we are making a new revolution, a new internet coming by, hopefully by next year. But I, uh, I think late 2020, we are already halfway in building the the, the protocol. So basically, uh, we invented the algorithm for encryption, becoming the the, the new protocol. So it goes back to Vinsurf, he is the father of internet, <coughs> father of World Wide Web, uh, Sir Tim Berners. -Lee. Yeah. Uh, people do not know history, that's why I go on the history because people now talking about 4.0, 5.0 in future, 3G, 5G, but you don't know the basic, you know? So we have to go learn from basic. So how to start as engineers uh, or researcher, uh, this is what I'm, I, I talk now. So we are talking about the data access, so many, many. Alright, uh, and then data overloading because everybody happy to use WhatsApp. 100 trillion WhatsApp message of, um, active user a month. So meaning that you have uh, almost 20 digit of, of data by yearly, uh, by this year, end of the year, you know. So when it accumulated, it will become maybe one day 100 digit. So um, the problem is that uh, the government may have a problem to encrypt their data because a longer they will reach a longer character. So this is what we are actually uh, solving because right now we are at zettabyte, you know, 10 power 21 data. We started from kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, zettabyte. And this is where the, the diabetes starting. Data is like our sugar in the, in the body, you know. So, so now after zeta, what happened to Yota 24 or the maximum 30 job byte? So we took 60 years to reach Zeta, to reach 30 character, maybe fast, maybe another 100 years or 500 years. So maybe when we have Job Byte, we have the Star Wars movie, you know, um, planet to planet communication, maybe. All right. So, so this is the, the problem which I think the old man, the Internet 1.0 become old um, um, and, and um, uh, become sick. Uh, not like Professor Anna, even eighty more, more, more older than internet, but still, are, still, yes, still uh, healthy. Okay. Mice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, then, uh, everybody like Professor, I think, uh, so know you, uh, sure. your name. Sure. 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 Happy to talk about smart city, mm -hmm. but you know what is the implication? Okay, everybody want to say, I think Jakarta smart city, Dubai smart. I was involved in project, uh, smart city project. But if you have a smart city, one day you have a, a, this problem of this data, which they said 2025 to 2030, you will have this yeah. problem. Happiness okay. is my destination. Yeah. Smart and secure is my ecosystem. Yeah. <laughs> so, so because we are talking the, the existing, the existing security and smart is my ecosystem. Having one billion data in the internet now. Yeah. We're talking about IoT coming next year, 50 billion devices connected like yeah, this, yeah. this. And also yours. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> you'll become more intelligent. So 50 billion devices, if I said one device transmit 10 bytes of data, so you can count 500 billion or whatever, it can become trillions of data. Can your internet sustainable? Going to be crashed because the from my watch, I will know Park Vin's toilet energy consumption in future, you know. Maybe I have a new Google can search his toilet. Because of Internet of Things, it will tell everything. Even you are in the toilet or anywhere, you know, while you are uh, uh, in mobile. Yeah. So this is the problem. And then uh, people are pushing on the FinTech to use e-commerce and many more. So, so everybody is happy because software guy is being fed like this man, this boy. Yeah, this is maybe Tokopedia, Alibaba, you're talking about uh, software is eating the world. Uh, and then the regulators want to be have a big 10 fintech. So, blockchain talking about disruptor. Okay, we'll disrupt the banks, industry and many more. So, for Skipjack, we built the infrastructure or technology. 
as a builder, we are not disruptors. So we, we are, because we were engineer, so the engineer always solve the problem. So that's what our main to become a builder. And this is what we are going to present today, talking about new technology you may never heard before. So you have gone <coughs> and uh, wake up with the American technology, which actually they are not the inventor. So, alright, uh, so we are talking about missing, so this is our technology now, like 1930s. This is what our internet or whatever we are using. You are maybe proud with your digital 4.0, but actually you are proud with this mess of uh, uh, infrastructure. Uh, so we need to build more modernized infrastructure. Uh, this is how we, our old internet last time. And now talking about uh, human to machine, machine to machine, and many more. Um, so we going to 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 build the new theorem, what we call Jack's law. So how we started? Uh, just um, refresh that um, Al Khwarizmi is making the algebra. Can I okay. Go? Okay. So because of him. We are living now. Otherwise, our our home will still wood atas pohon <laughs> in the cave, okay? Because of many many inventor during uh, five to seven century. So, um, but then maybe because he is not immortal, and then um, the formula is not elaborated yet. So this is how we started. So one of our scientists. Um, we don't declare who is our scientist is finding the mathematical algorithm so this algorithm we believe is who is your nationality is it uk indonesia uh i'm have a multiple <laughs> multiple yeah okay. but uh my wife as uh, is processing for my indonesian because my wife my daughter is indonesian already so the two versus one never win you know Okay. So um, so maybe I this year I will be the Indonesian. Okay. Alright, um okay. We have seen all fingerprint, I everything. Um from flowers. Uh, this is what the God create for us. 